Now, what have we learned? Lots of control. Good. Screaming and hollering. Yes. And most importantly, passion. Right. So now that you know the elements of a good cheer, let's hear one. <gasps> Everybody, welcome to the Brony Show episode um, something or other. Two forty-one. Is that really a, a two forty-one? Apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Two forty-one. Uh, I am your host that is slowly losing his mind. Circuit main. Of course, I'll be getting into that in just a moment here. Of course, I am joined by a wonderful gaggle of great um, Bronies, or well, two apparently because we just lost one of them. Um, okay. Yeah, we do got Hanachan finally joining us after a long, long um, delay, I guess. Yeah, sorry about that. Life just eh, wanted to pull a big blocker on me, so yeah, sorry guys. Yeah, it, don't worry about it. It happens to everyone, believe me. Yeah, I know. But we also have joining us the man from the Otaku Ascended, Suki-sama. Yeah, I just started following right. on YouTube and on Twitter. Actually, that's... The funny thing is I still see some of the Otaku Ascendants videos from like four years ago on my YouTube feed sometimes. It's weird. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. yeah. I'm, and I am, work, I am working on getting... I am working on getting myself in a position where... Because I'll admit, a big big part of me not putting videos out has been... I, burnt, I burned myself out on editing and stuff like that. And it's just been one of those things of like, it it, it became really hard to even look at an editing program. <laughs> so basically, pretty much I've been delayed on that. I'll admit, recently I've had moments where I've actually been like good to go on it. It's just this then all of a sudden lately just uh, like work has been all to hell. So I just I keep coming back home and I'm like, fuck this. I don't want to do anything else. <laughs> Believe <laughs> I, I know how you feel. I, I honestly do. Last last couple of weeks have been in utter t terror for me, and today was no exception, unfortunately. But I'll get to that in a moment. <laughs> unfortunately, I apparently forgot a big bag of spices on my table here. What am I doing? Wow. Uh, all right, has Toa come back yet? <laughs> Okay, not so, yet. all right. Unfortunately, Blinked will not be joining us. Um, his sleep schedule is completely destroyed right now. <sighs> and I don't know. I think he might be, he might be coming down with something or just kind of all over the map. Who knows? Ah, the winter weather allergy crap. Yeah. But on a good note, that means that we do have a spot available for one of our nor for our normal panelists if they ever want to join in today. Join us, join us, there's more to join around. <sighs> okay, so, now that I'm finally actually sitting at my computer here a little bit, well, let's go ahead and get started, because we do got quite a, a number of things to jump in here. Well, first off, let's remove that guy. Alright, um, there is going to be a few changes. <laughs> Some of you, well, most of you, in fact, let me just double check one last thing here, um, no, don't ask me that right now. Uh, let's see. <laughs> yes, right now, this is not streaming on live stream at all. Live stream is just at, flat out refusing to function right now. It is beyond belief. Curse I, you, live stream. We actually got it to work a little bit la uh, yesterday, and now, no, so, not so much. So, 
So I, I was hoping to avoid, to not avoid, avoid is not the right word. I wanted to wait on unveiling this until we were a little bit more, had things a little bit more set up and stable. But I guess now is as good a time as any. We have been working on actually doing, uh, to moving our um, streaming to a new site. In this Which case, uh, uh, this one is actually called Pixel. Looks like now would be a good time as any to try it, I guess. Uh, yep. Mine as well. <laughs> Any case, so... So, yes, we are going to be moving over to Pixel. Right now, we do have a temporary page set up on the Bernie Show site. We do not have it on the main site, though. I have actually just opened up the stream over there if anybody wants to catch us on Pixel instead and see how that works out for everybody or at Do least i hope so i actually just threw it in the chat room backstage yeah at uh, least I, I i'm hoping right now that it's streaming over there i thought i'd streamed it correctly uh, let's see hmm. yeah uh, okay i really should have tested this a little bit in the pre-show but admittedly i've not been feeling all that great in fact, I, mm. I yeah. okay, uh, okay, I, okay, yeah, it is working ish. Yay, it is working ish. So, it, it I don't think, I, I don't know, we may need to work on the embed a little bit, but the actual pixel site is working on it. So, I uh, let me see, maybe, maybe I need to reload this thing a little bit. Actually, that might be it. Actual pixel site is, yeah. Okay, yeah, the only problem is it, it, do, it would do have to reload the page. Bleh. So it will work. It will work. Yeah. So you just have to reload the page. And uh, let's see how long it takes until everything, uh, we, until we get like the seven degrees of, pon of um, pony here. Right, as we're going, but yeah. In three, two, mm -hmm. one. <laughs> But yeah, right. Yeah, right now this is what we're going to be working with. It's not great, but it is. It actually, actually, it's not great, but it is better. It is better. Already, I can already see a video quality improvement. I wanted to try to jazz it up a little bit more, make sure it was working beautifully before we threw it in. But it's obviously not an option at this point. Blech. So, yeah, those of you who are catching our recording, so there is news on that, too. Um, uh, and pl But anybody who's watching on either Pixel right now or Ustream, we are still going to be focusing on our chat room in IRC. So please do not th think that you need to move over to the... Um... Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, don don't move yourself over to the other chat room, please. Uh, for those of you who are having issues going full screen, it does not exactly work, um, at, from what I can tell. you What you'll need to do is you will actually need to pop out Pixel altogether. You should be able to, uh, there should be an option to just pop it out. Dang it it I was is P-I-X-E-L, oh, right? P-I-C-Z-E-L, actually. Z. But, yeah, but you'll need to actually pop it out into its own so little window. You need window, to pop out Pixel altogether. And then, you yeah, you can uh, go ahead and uh, full screen it yourself. So yeah, you do need to you do need to is pop it, it little, out. It, it's the little icon next to your name on there, right? Yeah, it's the little icon on the top left. Unfortunately, the 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 one on the bottom right that it should allow to pop out in the embed is not working at the moment. It at, yeah, it's not working at the moment. You have to pop it out and then open it. Okay. Or you um, could just um, say uh, forget it altogether and keep on Ustream, whichever works for you. But yeah, uh, for those of you watching um, uh, on Archive, though, you're probably finding this to be hilarious. Sorry about the sudden tech support. <laughs> but we do have news regarding our archives as well, because mm, there's been some problems with that as well. And I'm not I'm not lying. I'm Blech. not lying. Wait, what? Sorry. <laughs> OK, you know, what? I, I'm just going to get right on this right off the bat. Today, well, this last couple weeks have been completely killer for me. Today was no exception. Uh, basically starting from when I got to work, constant, constant, uninterrupted having to run through this, that, and the other. 
ha barely having a chance to breathe, very little sleep. I apparently kept waking up throughout the night, so that didn't help. And then right after work, I had to go do my Thanksgiving shopping, which kept me running all over town for two more hours. And then ha trying to catch a nap, which also didn't work out too well. And getting the show notes ready, which I did enjoy. I do love getting the show notes ready for everybody here. But everything has just basically been running around, getting me exhausted. I will apologize right off the bat. I am not going to be at peak today. I, I wasn't even... I, in fact, I was feeling incredibly ill and out of it until I had some, had some dinner and some chicken that helped out a little bit. I am going to be... I, I'm not going to be 100%. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to say Food everything is okay. Food always helps, though. Food always helps. <laughs> Food is the great equalizer. It is the great uh, saturation of my stomach. The greatest source of life. Food. Yes. <laughs> Food, glorious food. Okay, enough of that. Um. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, so I do apologize right off the bat. If things get rambly, if things get weird, if I'm just stuttering, spurting, squirting, squeaking, squatting, squirking, squeaking, squ um, squ making up random <laughs> S words as I'm going. If things so get beautiful. completely, utterly crazy, I do apologize profusely, and I do beg your forgiveness. Hopefully, it's not the usual. It's not the usual. We'll blame the holiday insanity. <laughs> but I do thank you for your patience. So, now that we've got that out of the way, let me go ahead and get started here. As I mentioned... We are doing something in the archives as well, because last week, if some of you do watch our archives, you will notice our our um, commentary on the Equestria Girls movie is not up. Well, it got blocked immediately by YouTube and their archaic copyright protections. Blah. Blah, indeed. <laughs> so... Unfortunately, you yeah, YouTube is um, still going to be a problem. The way that we like to do our live reactions and stuff like that apparently does not suit well for them, even though it does fall under copyright in every way, shape, and form. Well, not copyright. It falls under parody and fair use in every way, shape, and form. I've actually well, researched this. So, we are going to still stay on YouTube. For those of you who watch our YouTube, don't freak out. We will be keeping our discussions and some... And, in fact, we are going to be expanding things a little bit. I'm taking this opportunity to expand. Yeah. First, first off, we do have our live stream debacle, which is going to move us to Pixiv. I hope you got... By the way, um, uh, live stream, are you guys... Okay, apparently um, some of the people are in our chat room are having issues with Pixiv. Pick uh, set. This is going to be the next thing that I'm going to keep saying the wrong name for months, isn't it? Did they refresh it after loading it in one time? Actually, there seem to be it, having the big. It's the big issue they're having is getting it to pop up into full screen. Apparently. Oh, then yeah, just there's a little icon next to Circuit Main's name in the top left. Click it. Yes. <laughs> you gotta pop out the video, so and then it, you can expand it to full screen. It is impossible to do it in the embed right now. Is it Pixiv or Pixel? Pixel. pixel. It's Pixel. So, P-I-Z-Z-E-L. Like yeah, -E yes. Yeah. It's a fun little site, though. I, I would uh, warn everybody that, unless, that if you are adult... And you enjoy looking at adult content, do, uh, you know, you can, they got a filter for a reason. Let's put it that way. They stream a lot of stuff. No, nothing exactly pornographic, but, mm, well, in some, I don't That's know. Nice. Something que sometimes questionable, let's face it. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, it is what we're working on. And as I mentioned, we are also working on our archives. So, yeah, uh, during the weekend, I finally sat in and uh, updated, upgraded our Vimeo. So now we are going to be able to start working on putting our archives here in Vimeo as well. So the uh, grand plan is going to be we will do full our full podcast still, and they are going to be thrown into Vimeo with our discussions and a few of the fun things still going on YouTube as well. Because, in all honesty, people uh, the discussions seem to be the big thing there. Some people do like the news. Some people do like the random videos. 
but people really do like our discussions and our thoughts on things. So that's the one thing that we are going to be working hard on, keeping it so that YouTube will not just hate on us because we do things. YouTube is weird sometimes. I know. Me, me do the English. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So Vimeo is going to be the home of our unedited archives, as it were, including the old stuff that uh, apparent that was good on YouTube at one point, and now not so much. And unfortunately, it is a lot. It is incredibly difficult to edit. But because yeah. of this, because of this, we're going to be able to move our archives there. And I am actually going to start working on putting more content onto the Brony Show's YouTube channel, including maybe some more of the actual Brony Show Let's Plays, maybe doing some actual video content that actually requires editing and work and scripts. And, oh, oh man, could you imagine that horror me actually doing something <laughs> that's scripted? That's yeah. actually well thought out and down to the detail where I have to repeat lines over and over until they're absolutely perfect. And it looks like I'm actually fun. doing it perfectly myself. That's not fun. I know, it's scary. <laughs> but in any case, the funny thing about Vimeo is apparently I explored Vimeo about a year ago because there are episode 199 is uploaded to Vimeo. Granted, it's locked, <laughs> so nobody can actually see it, but I apparently uploaded it there a year ago. It didn't get taken <laughs> down or anything, so it's got to be doing something right. Go figure. Yeah, uh, Pixel. Yeah, Pixel TV. Pixel yeah, Pixel TV. Okay, because I was having the hardest time trying to find it, and my cat is not making it any easier. All no. right. Um, somebody's asking, what about Daily Motion? Uh, Daily Motion is an option. Was an option. I actually looked into a lot of different video sites, a lot of different content providers, things like that. Daily Motion just didn't fit in with what I wanted to do. Plus, in all honesty, they also do have some issues with with not only upload um upload spaces and time, but um just with um blocking things unnecessarily. Right. Not as bad as YouTube by a long stretch, but it still has its problems. And just after constant research, Vimeo felt like the best way of being able to provide constant content to our to people. And I already paid for Vimeo anyway, so might as well go with it. Yeah. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> In any case, um, I think I think we pretty much um, kept going on forever and ever here. So let's go ahead and warm up everybody else's vocal cords and talk about what's going on with our daily lives. And what better way than what's up, Bronies? So what's up, Bronies? Work, sleep, blah. Work, sleep, and blah. <laughs> Definitely a fun combination. Yeah. Mm. Although I do have a couple of friends that are thinking about trying to get a little group together to maybe doing some voice acting. Really? Anything uh, in particular that we should look for? Well, I mean, it's not going to be guaranteed. We're still trying to figure things out, so we're going to try to do a little bit of research and try to do like some audio booking because we are planning on trying to do maybe the newest book of Harry Potter. Because the newest book that just recently came out was a screenplay. I'm not even sure that can qualify as a book, in all honesty. I when when I find I out it was interesting. Well, I it's an it just... uh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> no, you go ahead. Well, I, I admit it's an interesting idea, but I don't qual I don't exactly qualify it as a book because it's basically somebody's idea of fan fiction. I mean, it's not to say it's a bad. Awesome. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but it's essentially fan fiction. I mean, it wasn't written by the author. It was written by somebody else that wanted that is doing a play, and then they decided, the play's good, let's write a book. And we're even thinking, maybe, if we get the chance at the time, probably even get a couple of artists to kind of do some of the scenes and everything in the characters. Mm. So, yeah, if everything goes well, we might actually have put on YouTube. But it's not definite. Yeah, every little thing, good thing in time, I suppose. <laughs> and if anything, I'll just go on my rants on Pokemon Go later. Uh, how dare you <laughs> have to walk? How dare you have to walk around and actually catch Pokemon? Can't you just sit there and walk around like you do in the other games? 
Hey, it helps me lose weight, so I'm happy about it. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> ah, can't argue with that. Well, I can't, but it's pointless. Me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All I'm right. sorry, I'm a dork. <laughs> no, 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 no. To, to each, I'm just yeah. having fun with it. Hey, you know Suki, are you back, back yet? I'm not sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm right here. Hey, right, you got any What's Up Bernie oh, going shit, on? dogs. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, sorry. No, sorry. I, I, fu I fucked up stealthing this, and uh, they, they sent dogs after me. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh right. Yeah, you're, you're probably... Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm playing Watch Dogs. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm here. Oh crap, dogs! No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I'm doing. I mean, yeah, I'm doing all right. Just uh, yeah, just keep just keeping just keeping in there and everything. Just like I said, one like I said, I'm definitely working on uh, hopefully getting, hopefully being able to get the uh, channel got back and going again. Nice. Yeah. I do have I do have some stuff that I pro that really all I have to do is just do some probably just get back into an editing program one or two times and that'd be I'd probably finish it up. Cool. Mm, sounds yeah. awesome. Yeah. So hopefully I can hopefully I can get my act together and get that going. <laughs> well, uh, that, that, yeah. yeah. For for right now for right now I'm gonna hack San Francisco. <laughs> Sounds like a plan to me. Anyway, speaking of which, there is one other thing I forgot to add into my itinerary of what is going to be going on with me. Um, actually, uh, no less than a few hours ago, I decided to finally um, fork over some money, and I'm actually going to an orchestra at the beginning of, Dece of December. Nice. Oh, no, the nice part is the fact that it's the Zelda Orchestra. Oh, you turd! I love it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my god! And there is our fourth Toa. Hello. Hi. But yeah, on the fourth of December, I am going to be going to the Zelda Symphony Orchestra at on seven seven thirty p.m. The exact same time I should be asleep. So I either that is going Monday is going to be the most terrible day of my life after the greatest night of my life, or I'm probably going to end up calling in. Which let's face it, that's more than likely the case. Uh, I still consider you lucky because I love Legend of Zelda. And orchestra version is even better. Actually, no. The lucky part is that there was a nice seat that they have in the um front auditorium. Ah. It is, it was, it's not it, right at the front, but it's kind of like in mid front, exactly in the middle, but it was only one seat. So the ah. fact that I can, the fact that I can stag so easily, that's right, because I don't have a girlfriend. All I had to do is get one seat right in the middle of the auditorium, and I get to watch the whole thing right from the middle. Wow. I am going to be. Lucky man, boss. Yes, I am. Except I that was sixty dollars. I would have liked to have too, but oh well. Meh, uh, meh. Boss, you get to do one thing that many gamers wish they could do. You Actually, get, to get out of the, the house. Of Zelda in orchestral form in a live audience. Yeah, I know. I, you know I, how <laughs> many people would sell their entire collection just to go there? Um, more like their entire Zelda souls. music. So, uh, are you? Is there? Souls. Am I sensing a bit of hostility and sadness in all of this? Better believe you are. <laughs> <laughs> I was never a fan of Zelda, but I like the music. I I'm not a. Zelda. I'm not a fan. I don't like Zelda. What are you talking about? Go, go away. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm go sorry. away, I'm sorry. I, I could not resist. I. I'm joking. <laughs> I All right. Anyway, that's enough of that silly shenanigans and they're on. <laughs> so, um, uh, does anybody else have any other what's up, Brody, that they want to throw out there before we go ahead and move on to whatever else um, cats is our fancy? Cats is uh, our let's fancy. See. I finally burned a bale of hay that's been sitting there for about four months. It made a good fire. And then made many other good fires after I poked it. 
I have a feeling that this is something we're going to hear from Toa right before we hear about a giant fire somewhere in his area. Lord of Dirt. Oh, that was last night. night. No. And trust me, it was, it was a controlled burn. The fire was wow. pretty. <laughs> wow. Little childhood yeah. story. My sister and I, he would burn napkins on a wooden table with glass in the center. Here's a smart thing we did. We burned it on the glass. The dumb thing was we were burning napkins on a glass table. Sorry, on a wooden glass table. And it could have caught fire if it wasn't on the glass. Needless to say, my grandfather was exactly shocked whenever he woke up from that nap and saw us doing it. <laughs> and we got to ask his beat for it. Nice. Mm. All right, I well... A bunch of fire bugs. Hmm. Anyway, um, okay, so we, we might as well get uh, started in uh, talking about um, what's going on with the Bruna community. There is a little bit of information. Of course, uh, we do want to do a quick shout out to our friends uh, across the pond that give us so many awesome games and question, our, and question just how messed up we really are at times. To our friends over in Nippon, or Japan, I hope Japan. that... Apparently, they got hit with a 7.6 earthquake and also a bit of a tsunami right afterwards. No. And the, oh, no. I the irony is amazing. However, it doesn't look like um, there was any massive damage done, and everything seems to be okay. So I just want to throw out our well wishes for the people over there, and hopefully everything is okay. Okay, so nothing on the scale of what happened with Fukushima a few years ago. No. Oh, no, nothing nothing even close Fukushima to that. No, no. Mm -hmm. I, I was worried that was going to happen again. It's like, oh, no, not again. Uh, but, don't yeah. delay Kingdom Hearts 2.8. We need it before 3. They would probably delay Please them both. You know they would delay them both if that happened. Please don't no, disappear. I'm just I want to visit you one day. We've already got Kingdom Hearts 3 merch in the form of Kingdom Hearts 3. He, he play out Sky Sora with more on the way. Do not make us wait another 10 years. I think Toa's losing his mind already. I think Honestly, we all have. You, go. you are just seeing the shell of a former man. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and move on from that one. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and move on. We do have a bit of uh, news going on. Starting off with Season 6 hitting Netflix on December 20th, or to be specific, the second part of Season 6. Mm -hmm. So if you wanted to be able to watch the last few episodes, the last half of Season 6 over and over and over, and you happen to have Netflix, then your cha your time is coming, and it'll be right before Christmas. So, nice little Christmas present for people that like to watch it. Along with that, appear apparently Netflix has also gotten a plethora of Generation 3 movies as well. Ooh. What does that mean for the Brony Show? <laughs> <laughs> it means that the circuit is lost. Man, help us. <laughs> there is no help for you here. Only Zool. Wait, what? <laughs> there is no help, only Zulu. Okay, no, no, no okay. Zulu. Only Zulu? <laughs> chaka Zulu, Chaka Zulu. I can go with that. I can go with that. Okay, anyway, yes, uh, that is coming up, and I feel like I was about to look for something, and now I completely forgot what it was. LSKM, yes, I did. I don't think. Netflix categorize them as torture films, but... No, 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 we'll leave it alone. You know what? Generation 3 sucked. I'm not gonna deny it. It sucked, but it's not 3.5. It is, it is yeah. not 3.5. 3.5 is the one that has given us nightmares. That is the one that gave us the Scootaloo with a teapot on her head. Bleh. That, that... How, how, well, how Sweet Bell was born by two rainbows just going at it. Do rainbows get <laughs> macking it on? Do rainbows mack it on? Oh, now I remember what I was going to look for. <laughs> but yes, um, so yeah, that, that has happened. Let's face it. It has happened. So, um, in any case, let's uh, move on here. Now for even better news, and this is 
this is one I'm just like ee, excited for. I'm not gonna deny <laughs> this. This made my day. This made my day. It's gonna and it's gonna make my day in three months. It has been announced that Two Snacks has released an up an update video. I mentioned this last week, but now there's another <laughs> one. Uh, uh, released an update video about his attempts at doing the 3D models that we saw two years ago. Now, some of you <laughs> might actually remember some of these models as um, as we um, talked about them because we did um, really geek out on them a little bit. They looked really awesome. They were kind of fun to watch and just how they moved around and squirmed and stuff. But apparently, when he was trying to work on them and get them to set up for um, the next uh, Two Best Sisters play, there was con constant problems and they just kept happening. Every single time uh, something got fixed, something else broke. Long story short, it, it went to hell, he got frustrated, took a break. Yeah, he unfortunately, it, it just got so bad that he ended up having to stop, and that's why we hadn't seen any Two Best Sisters plays in so long, because one, he was working on this for so long, and then afterwards, he just got sick of it and dropped it. But the good note is that he d has decided to come back, um, and he is using what he learned in his 2D um, videos, and he is going to be, be, be bringing a new episode of Two Best Sisters play in three months. <laughs> at least he's at least he's saying it should be done. It should be Three done. Months. We're yeah, of course things can happen, and we are going to keep our we're going to be um holding we're going to be holding our breath. I admit it. I am going to be holding my breath on this one, and I really, really, really want it to happen. I really do want it to happen. But yeah, we will hopefully get more two best sisters play, and it will be the greatest day of my life. <laughs> of course, it is not going to happen until next year. So, uh, there is no Christmas present of Two Best Sisters Play. However, there is a little bit of a Christmas present that if you do want to have these uh, 3D models, he apparently has made them completely available to anybody that wants to grab them and download them. Of course, granted, good luck. Also, can I just say, 2016 has been a pretty sucky year in recent history. Let's oh, yeah. just let's just leave that one alone. Uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll we'll save that for the actual end because we still have a month and a half. We can't say it's been a bad year because it hasn't finished yet. Granted, well, it's been a bad year so far. So far, yeah. but you you can't say it's over until it's over. Trust me on that. So, yep, two Best Sisters play coming up. I can't wait, but I'm going to have to. But we will wait. And it will be awesome oh and exciting and fun. So, just if you also want to get the uh, <laughs> pony models, check out or check out the video. Please uh, be sure to check out the link that we have in the show notes. Also, for those of you who are watching, sorry, I forgot to put the show notes in our um, IRC chat. Beep, beep, beep. Moving on. So, who's ready for at for Christmas ads? I've already got at now. least three so far. Well, here's another oh one. God. You, you, you want to you want to know what's really great? I was on the phone with a with a law office today. Got put on hold, and their hold their hold was a uh, was a local Baltimore radio station. Uh, and that radio station literally goes, "Hey, starting Wednesday, we're gonna start Christmas music." Christmas music going on here. I will give them some credit. At least they were nice enough to wait until after Thanksgiving to do that. <laughs> I actually... Well, the, yeah. Sorry, Wednesday, go ahead. Wednesday at 5 p.m., so basically right before Thanksgiving, really. Oh, that Wednesday. Mm. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, awesome, Bernie. I cannot give you a link to the 3D models. They are in the show notes. Please go to two, more two's best sisters to find them. Uh, I love you, but I... In all honesty, you gotta do a little bit of um, uh, hand work yourself. But yeah, um, Target ad apparently has an animated model of Rarity. Hey Siri, take a selfie. Along with the Hashtag trolls X1. and Mikey. I'm choosing to ignore those. I'm choosing to ignore <laughs> those. We're just gonna look at the Rarity. So technically, Bobby shares the voice of Sunset similar, so you could just say Sunset, to, uh, not Sunset, to Starlight Glimmer. Ah, damn it! Damn it, Pony, why you gotta have so many someone's own names? Anyways. <laughs> ignoring it. Ignoring all of it. I don't know what you're talking about. La da 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 da. 
<laughs> Let me take a selfie. No. No, you cannot take no. a selfie. No, 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 no. That's what they just did, so... Well, who's ready for Christmas for more Christmas merchandise and ornaments? Yay! Guess we need so many of them. Well, how's this one? On Hooked on Ornaments, their annual uh, 2016 ornament has come out, and it is a very, um, apparently curvy Pinkie Pie. It's very <laughs> round. Or at least that's the way some people have been describing it, just roundish. Did we get sketchy to do a pinup of it? Not that kind of roundish. <laughs> In fact, I was trying really, really hard to avoid um, that kind of roundish. You can never avoid that kind of round. <laughs> yeah. We are above the age of 18. It's okay to feel that way. <laughs> well, we are, but yeah. You know, like I said, I try to keep this as, um... Not, PG uh, as possible. I, I try to keep it as PG-13 as possible, so, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it, it isn't so really... It includes monosexual humor, right? Yeah, they're very mild. But, yes, um, uh, well, in my regards to Christmas, I'm ready for Christmas, but I'm ready for Christmas after Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. At this point, we have literally gone to the point of scaring the crap out of people to... Try to wishing goodwill on men and giving and getting lots of stuff without at least practicing thank, uh, being thankful for what we already have. It, almost, it feels like we're missing a. It, it well, feels like we're missing a step happened. here at this point, and we need to get back to actually taking that step here a little bit. That's my well, opinion. I'm gonna though. have to slate through halfway of giving because I have work the night before and I've got work that night. Yeah. I was trying to work on Thanksgiving. It didn't quite work. Da -da -dun, da -da -dun. <laughs> it did not work. It did not work. It did not work. It did not work. <laughs> so no, I don't have the, I don't have work on Thanksgiving, which is surprising. But it's because everybody tried to work and they had to split up the days. Instead, I'm working Christmas. Meh. The next day. The apparently <laughs> Christmas is on Sunday, so I'm working on the 26th, which is not yeah, Christmas. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm scheduled you're, off you're on that day. Circuit. Yeah. Yeah, you and me both, Circuit. Yeah. Before I forget, though, if anybody is curious, yes, we will have a Brony show on the 26th and the 2nd of January. Mm. I admit we may not be a hundred. It may not be a hundred percent show. It may just be goofing around and having fun because it will be the day after the holidays and the uh, the day after Christmas. Most people are probably going to be um, either in playing with their toys, playing with their games, or. Um, sil silently weeping in cups of eggnog, whichever works for you. <laughs> and and on the first of Jan, uh, on the second of January, you're either recovering from a hangover, recovering from a hangover, or you're crying in your eggnog because you didn't get hanged over. Um, <laughs> so yes, let's yes, you didn't get hung over. Lots of crying in eggnog. Let, let's face it, there's lots of crying in eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. I could keep going on forever, and I'd like to, but we got we got plenty of other things to talk about here. So next, uh, this was actually the Queen Chrissy figure for Guardians of Harmony has actually been spotted in, oddly enough, has shown up at GameStop of all places. Really? Because I went to GameStop the other day and I did not see that beauty. You and me both. I didn't see it over at my GameStop, but Ooh. it may be popping up in some of them. But I yes, I want that. I want it so bad. Yes, but Queen Chrissy, with the angriest of all looks and plenty of changelings to follow her, was found found over at a local GameStop over for somebody. It looks like Think Geek is the one distributing this one, which is why it was in GameStop. Though it is probably pretty good to guess that you, if you go to the Think Geek website, there's a good chance you may be able to buy it there too. Ooh, I'm gonna be stopping by there every day after work. <laughs> You know, and it's only now that I just realized I have no idea what happened to my glow in the dark DJ pony shirt after I used it over at BronyCon. That was How three months ago. It. How dare uh, you lose that? I don't think I lost right, it. I think it's sure just it. I think it's hiding in my closet. Boss, oh. did you sew it to Winchester? I did not I did I? I don't know. I can't remember you anything. Better not have. I don't remember you anything know, anymore. Pony. You you know he loves vinyl. I know, but all I can remember is I like tater tots. I don't know what's up with that. 
Okay, no, I, I don't know. I've, no I'm half. I'm see you, Winchester. I'm sure you would have loved it if he did, but uh, I mean, you uh, don't do something like that. No. No, I, 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 I'm pretty sure I brought it home with me. I just can't remember what I did with it. That, that's what's driving me crazy. Okay, so how dare you misplace it? Then? Thank you. That. All right. Well, how about this instead? Can any of you tell me what this is? Show up on the screen. Let's see. I'm <laughs> waiting for it to show up. Yep. Yep. Oh my god. Why? Wait. What? What did? Did somebody? Did Toakoi say something? Uh, piggy bank or? I'm looking at the oh. link and it says plush bank. Did you have to look at the link? I, I was hoping you would just guess <laughs> it, but yes, apparently th this is a My Little Pony plushy piggy bank. Okay, there. Okay, there we go. Sorry, it was a uh, uh, yeah, Pixel kind of stopped for me. So ah, weird. Yeah, it, yeah, it looks like it's kind of doing its own little thing. Yeah, but apparently uh, oh, over at uh, Walmart, these are actually popping up over there for about $7, and they're called Plushy Piggy Banks. Yeah, we got the same things, only they're remote. We haven't gotten the yet. Got the what now? You know the old emoji figures that they... I'd rather... Like oh, little... yeah, yeah, that, that weird yeah, one. They've yeah, they've got those in little plushy banks. Of course they do. Why not? Yeah. We haven't received any of the My Little Pony banks yet. Yeah, go figure. Although we do have some awesome Fluttershy and Rainbow Dash ceramic banks that I would prefer to have over these. I still gotta grab those. <laughs> I have the Twilight, the Alicorn, Fluttershy, and Pinkie Pie. I got the Pinkie Pie and Twilight. I still need to get the, I need to get those two and the Pinkie Pie that apparently had a uh, Elements of Harmony thing just because Target had to be different. Hmm. Yeah. Go figure. But yeah, <laughs> uh, anyway, on the uh it's not only Twilight that has a plushy bank, but apparently Rainbow Dash does too. Oh god. So, yeah, feast your feast your eyes and enjoy the insanity. While we go ahead <laughs> and move on to the next little thing here, with T Public, who apparently is supposed to be, uh, I'm saying this supposed to be because I admit it's doesn't look quite right to me, but is supposed to be having a a six dollar off sale for November. But so far, all of the T-shirts I'm seeing are not saying six dollars. In fact, they're all saying twenty dollars, and none of them have been updated since we checked it out last, which is even weirder. Hmm. But what I did notice is um, I tried looking at T Public a little bit differently, and I did. I was able to finally pull up a few different shirts for your for everybody's consideration here. And of course, I also finally. I hold on. Did is this the correct one? Oh no! Dang it! Oh, I love. I love these. I love these. Well, the first one is um, apparent. I found this one, which is actually a combination of Luigi's Mansion and Apple Bloom, the Exterminator. Wait, what? Oh my god! <laughs> wow. Yep. She ain't afraid of no bugs. No, that that. that Here's the funny thing. This actually reminds me so much of one of the first um, fan fictions I read in the Brony community, which is – which is um, it's not Apple Bloom, oddly enough, but it's actually Sweetie's Mansion, which, which is a combination of Luigi's Mansion and, of course, My Little Pony. And it's a lot darker than, um, the, than Luigi's Mansion. Hmm. But yeah, that, I, I, this is reminding me of that, and I just could not resist it. It's, it was an awesome looking shirt. So along with that, we also got a uh, few other... Uh, would you leave me alone there? Okay, sorry. <laughs> we also found Happy Hour, the t-shirt. <laughs> well, I also finally found a link to this, Flank Hunter. Oh my god. <laughs> this was this was a lot harder to find than anybody would ever imagine. 
and I just really, really needed to find it because I found it to I find it funny. I think it's funny. <laughs> it is kind of funny. There's also something a little bit more on the artsy side, the Moon Princess T-shirt. <laughs> Yep. And also, finally, we got the Ponies Gotta Love Them All t-shirt because Pokemon Sun and Moon didn't come out and we have to make a pony reference because <laughs> we are who we are. <laughs> okay, so let's take a quick look at chat room here. Uh, let's see. OFC Berry Punch represents Happy Hour. Grr, so drunk. Spiggity Swooty from LSKM. Okay, what words did I take out of your mouth, DM12? Because mm. I do not recall at all. Let's see. You know what? Someone should make a heart heartwarming Eve con. <laughs> Honestly, I I'm surprised somebody hasn't. But I know a lot of Brony groups are doing Christmas stuff for for Christmas. So take that what you will. Awesome. <laughs> Apparently there is a little bit of stream lag here, so we do apo I do apologize for that. I'm afraid there's not much I can do about it. Eh. Love pony shirts, wish I had the money. Uh, the comment you made just a minute ago, which may have been about three minutes ago, considering. I don't know. I can't remember anymore. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and move on. We do got a few more things here, starting off with the My Little Pony Friends Forever issue 34, which, even though this one is oddly enough Fluttershy with uh, Fluttershy with um, with Bastard Rabbit, I forgot his name. Angel. Angel, Angel thank you. Angel. He still sucks. Wait, I have to know that because that's my sister's name. That would do it. <laughs> Your sister's named Angel? Angel Lee, but... Oh, oh, fair enough. But, yes, um... The combination of Pinkie Pie and Cheese Sandwich, Friends Forever, is the next, uh, comic to be coming out. Of course, wow. um... Of course, Equestria Daily does have an exclusive, uh, preview of this comic with the first few pages, if anybody is curious to... Oh, I remember that. I remember that one. Yep. <laughs> Yep, if anybody wants to check it out, it is right there to take a look and enjoy. The art style looks good, and of course, it is as silly as ever. I think there's another, like, cover for it. Like, a fourth cover. Not that I can find, but I wouldn't be surprised. Well, I'm, lo yeah, I'm looking at the, uh, the link that you sent on the show notes, mm -hmm. and on the very bottom of it, it has, like, another one, like... Pinky and Cheese Sandwich in a frame, Pinky and Cheese Sandwich in the house, and then Fluttershy in the house full of animals going crazy. Alright. I don't, don't know. Don't you mean they're in the house? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ow. I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> I can resist. Well, I could, I just didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but yeah, uh, Pinkie Pie and Cheese Sandwich. If you want to check out the comic, please feel free to do so. Support our artists, support our comic drawers. Here's our next uh, little thing here. Now, this one, I normally don't bring up stuff like this because it is um, Equestria Daily stuff thing, and, you know, they could do whatever they want. I just found this incredibly weird because apparently they dedicated an entire article to Gabby being the best character ever and why. Wow. <laughs> and I admit, she is an energetic, uh, she, she's an energetic griffin, and it's a heck of a, it's a heck of an article they put together. I just couldn't resist that, I, to bringing it up a little bit, because some people do like Gabby, though I'm, I'm not gonna lie, the only time, I, every time I think of Gabby, there's only one thing I immediately think of. And this happens every single time I think of Gabby, because it just reminds me of my work so much. <laughs> just the whole the whole fat the yeah <laughs> just, her working a telemarketing job that basically destroyed her wow <laughs> yeah 
That's the one thing I always found I find hilarious, and I just I laugh at that every single time. Is so she's like, oh yeah, she's just so energetic. I'm like, yeah, but get her in tele, get her in telemarketing, get her having to stick on the phone all day. You will hate life. What? What the hell? Sorry about that. Be right back. Yeah, sure. Jeez, I thought that was Suki. Nope. Okay then. And apparently we lost Toa again. So let. Well then. Yeah, I know. Go figure. Well, let's move on uh, really quickly here. Then Billy Bob Thornton has apparently um, revealed that he is a My Little Pony fan. Uh, in an interview with uh, Seth Meyers with Late Night, uh, he did. You? He actually did reveal that he watched My Little Pony with his daughter when they were younger. He um, decided to um, catch, he, you know, he got one of those like sympathy things where you decide you want to watch something again after wa not watching it for so long and found out that there was a new version of it. And actually re started to enjoy the uh, newer MLP episodes. So, yeah, he he's not a brony. He, he's a fan. So we, we will get that right off the bat. Billy Bob Thornton is a fan of My Little Pony. And I feel... Ooh. I feel a little... Oh, no, wait. There you are. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, yeah. Sorry, I'm just... Yeah. Man, uh, really? There's not much else to say to that. It's just... Okay, cool. Yeah, I know. It's, it's pretty cool, though. Yeah. So if anybody wants to see the uh, video of the interview, uh, there it's a little snippet there um, from the Equestria Daily article. Please support Equestria Daily. Two minute long video, so not a whole. It's not going to take you long to take a look at it. Let's see, and let's let's see here. I think we got just a little bit more news left. Balloon pony. Oh, right, balloon ponies. Now this didn't <laughs> exactly. No, I I know you're laughing, but this there's no other way to describe this. Uh, apparently, um, a um, inflatable manufacturer in China. Wow. Has has made a lot more balloon ponies. Is that supposed to be Cadence? Oh my god! No, that's Zakora. No, I'm I'm talking about some of the other pictures that's down here. Oh well, well yeah, that, that is probably Cadence. Yes. Oh my god! But yeah, we got Zakora. We got uh, Luna with really really long. Oh no, it wasn't the legs that was driving me crazy. It was that neck. That neck is way <laughs> too short. The, the legs aren't helping. The legs are not no. helping. No, they're not. And Cadence is even worse. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Applejack, her hair is just all whacked up. Actually, I, I think Applejack is the best one out of this because it's almost like, please excuse me for existing. <gasps> I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't be here ever. This shouldn't be a thing. It's, it's still bad. <laughs> yeah, Cadence, Cadence does need some major work, but th this is a uh, a factory in China. They don't care, you know. They, <laughs> they just get it, they get enough to get it out. And that's it. Though I'm sure there are some very qual there are some good quality factories in China. This is just obviously a pirate factory, so <laughs> <laughs> you know what are you gonna do, right? Meh. Meh. <laughs> Muh. Muh. Okay. <laughs> All right, and finally, our last little bit of news is actually a flash animation. Unfortunately, because of that, I couldn't actually put it in our uh, videos and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and play it now to catch a falling star. Catch a falling star and put it in your pocket. Save it for a rainy day. For love may come and tap you on the shoulder. Some star lets night. And just in case you feel you want to hold her, you'll have a pocket full of starlight. Catch a falling star and put it in your pocket. Never let it fade away. Catch a falling star and put it in your pocket, save it for a rainy 
Okay, I mean, that was nice and cute and everything. I can't help but wonder if something's wrong with me because I just kept waiting for something to happen where Luna smacked her up across the face with just something dramatic. Weird, that dramatic was kind of cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta wonder if something's wrong with me. If at the moment, I, the first thing I'm thinking of is, okay, when, are, when is Luna gonna get lay a smackdown on her or something? It's like, really? <laughs> is, is there something wrong with me? You're yeah, just normal. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, get into a quick, uh, a couple of quick fan submissions and suggestions. The challenge of the week no was Pony Online. Well, all right. Then. Well, we do got one from Mike Nice right now. Uh, ponies in dance swag. <laughs> it is pretty cool. Uh, it, it was based off of Legends of Everfree, and um, let's face it, it was based off. It's a t pink tuxedo that bulk biceps wore. So, Legends of Everfree? Um, yeah, Legends of Everfree, the Equestria Girls movie. Mm. Also, uh, second, you want to know the reason why Mike's submission last week was him looking at a moon? Or somebody looking at a moon? Somebody was looking at a moon? His submission <clears throat> last week would be dazzled. Oh, that one. Uh, I He didn't quite understand it. He thought it was to be dazzled by something instead of the gemstones. Yeah, instead of bedazzling, I know. Admittedly, bedazzling <laughs> was a bit more of an American term for the 1980s, so yeah. Man. But yeah, in this case, um, he, he's got a... Uh, le he's basically decided to... Um, well, I'm, I'm reading over the notes here real fast. Um, let's see. Hunt. Yeah, apparently he's um, has a, his pony here... Trying to hunt people down in a mobile-like setting, basically leg uh, Legends of Everfree. No, League of Legends. I was about to say League of Legends. In Legends of Everfree. No, League of Legends, and uh, basically it looks like a. Uh, cr I I'm sure that I know there's a, a League of Legends character that kind of co comes close to this, but I can't remember her name. But it, essentially, it looks like a daft a daft punk is going a little bit overboard with taking people <laughs> out. Taking out the competition the hard way. <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah. I, Robot Rock was awesome. Yeah, I'm not denying it. Robot Rock is awesome. It's just, it's just hilarious because it basically is sniping him with a guitar arrow, uh, arrow, guitar bow, guitar bow. Guitar bow. And we'll say that. And Vaguely Creepy has officially made me feel ancient. <laughs> vaguely Creepy's like, Daft Punk? No, don't say it like that! No. <laughs> I'm not that old! <laughs> Daft Punk's really cool. Yeah. I don't think they, so, anyway. And yeah, they've done some late, recent stuff, so, yeah. I know Pentatonix did one. Yeah, they're not old. You're old. <laughs> they're not old, you're old. Uh, okay, Toko, you need to shut up. <laughs> All right, so the right now Toa is still working on his, and we don't have any other submissions for the art challenge. So next week's challenge is ponies and Thanksgiving. Or if it, if you're obvious, if you're outside of the United States, um, ponies and feasting. Ponies 
<laughs> That's technically what Thanksgiving is. Well, Thanksgiving is also giving thanks for what we do have in life and in general. Being thankful for the stuff that we do have as opposed to wanting more. Well, well, then Black Friday happens. Yeah, I know. And then Black Friday, and we've officially become the greediest nation for an entire year. Yeah. Yeah. That month. Entire month. All right. No, I'm, you got I'll it be... right the first time. All right. Oh, for it. Yeah. I'll be right back. Or we. Uh, right. I should probably download the comic anyway. Well, well, we are doing one more quick um thing here, and then we are going to be going to the comic. Yeah. Okay. I'll be right back. All right. All right. And really quick, we do have updates on source film models. So, of course, it seems like every single week there's more source film. And now we get into the controversy. Ghostbuster uniform source filmmaker. <laughs> so you can put... Yeah. And, of course, these are pony modeled um, Ghostbuster uniforms. So these are to fake ponies, of course. <laughs> And whether your thoughts are on the latest movie or the old movies or anything relating Ghostbusters, it still looks pretty awesome. Yeah, it does, really. Yeah. Mm. By the way, I'm somewhat happy that the new Ghostbusters film was kind of a bomb at the box office and kind of shows, hey, you had a good idea, but you didn't really do well with it. Uh, actually, that one we can get into a large discussion, and in all, uh, and I don't think it will end without some people getting really butt hurt. So, I'm just gonna say they did their best with the movie. They were there were probably some decisions that they probably shouldn't have made. What those were, I'm not gonna give my opinions on because this is neither the time nor the place. But it came, it saw, it didn't do well. It's probably not going to franchise. Me. But, However you take that is purely up to you. I really have I no room to say because I didn't get to see it, so... Yeah, but I will say one thing. The action sequences that I did see, they were pretty awesome. I will, le I will leave yeah. it as that. The action sequences were good, and they were kind of fun. <laughs> That's about all. Now, moving on to the other source filmmaker, Evil Celestia and Evil Luna. Though, granted, even Evil Luna wouldn't be just Nightmare Moon, wouldn't it? Uh, no, that's not likely. About the but yeah, it, yeah, it's actually the comics, so I know. But yeah, the Evil Celestia <laughs> and Luna from the comics actually look really, really cool. Well, of course, well, Celestia, Celestia does. The designs I, were cool in the comics. About Luna. Of course, they're evil. <laughs> evil. Technically, they were negative versions of Celestia and Luna, so not evil. Uh, going with Dragon Ball Super Logic, it would have been Celestia and Luna Black. Hmm. Yeah. True enough. Okay. Let's see here. Go Ghostbusters 6 2016 caused a lot of drama and rage. Yeah, we'll leave that alone. Um, <laughs> it did better than Batman vs Superman. Yes, but um, Batman vs. Superman was, we're gonna fight each other. Wait, our mothers have the same name. We're friends. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was the stupidest thing I have ever heard. It was better in animated form. Live action, not so much. Uh, it was better when it was just a comic and not a movie. Uh, I'm leaving that alone, though. Leaving it alone. Let's mm -hmm. see. Reflections arc, yeah. Uh, I hope they, they go... The hope. Hoping he does their good stuff with Egyptian themed Celestia and Greek themed Luna. Um, they might be able to do. They might do that. I don't know. Uh, that that one is up to the uh, creator. But this does look pretty awesome for what it is, and it is yeah. technically official content, so I'm not surprised. And the background is actually perfect here. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to our discussion, which is going to be Friends Forever issue one. Now, the reason I picked this out is actually all due to this weekend or last weekend. Last weekend was Applejack Day. Applejack. A day to our day to celebrate our favorite farm pony, and I should have <laughs> mentioned that right off the bat here at the podcast, but I forgot. So, in oh, in anticipation of this, I did uh, get the comic, uh, Friends Forever 1, which combined Pinkie Pie and Applejack in a baking contest, and I figured that would be a great one to go with, especially since oh, I couldn't remember, awesome. I, especially since I actually couldn't remember which is the next of the uh, micro-series that we haven't done yet. 
So, yes, that will be it. And also, during our video segment, we are going to be showing an MLP episode, the Super Speedy Cider Squeezy 6000, which was <laughs> um, suggested to us by Blinked Mind as his favorite Applejack episode and a really good one for us to celebrate with. And along with that, we are also showing a few choice Applejack videos along with the uh, new videos that came out this uh, week from the Bernie community. Awesome. Indeed. The show may be done for a bit, but the community lives on. Of course it does. The community always will always on. live on, or else this show wouldn't exist anymore. Let's face it. What are you talking about, Tokoy? 